back out. The only way to start a wild camp. Because we didn't find a pub. We we're going to stop and have pub lunch, pint, but we couldn't find any because we're in the middle of nowhere. This is the far back end of beyond. But look at this clear river. Lovely. It's a lovely hot day. Oh, oh, and we are planning on going up there, which is called Heart of Fell. So apparently you go over that bridge and around the bottom of it and then up the side. So it's it'll be alright until we get to the far side of it. So I'm just having a like a little little break before we go up. It's still a little bit early. But yeah, back out. Again. Are you gonna fall over for today? No. Ah come on. <laughs> I'm gonna end up breaking my neck here like after saying that. Set myself right up. The size of that boulder. So we're off. On with jollies again. Oh, what a lovely place this is. And there's nobody about. There's only a few cars in this car park. Look at that. It's a red hot day in the lakes. Dead busy coming, but look. It's three cars and ours. Mint. Ah oh dear. Just gotta go up there, that's all. Up there and along on top. Hopefully. We know it's gonna be steep. We're prepared. We've had loads of paracetamol. <laughs> and other strong painkillers. So nice. We've picked one of the stuff, steepest, daftest, wettest, muddiest paths you could find. Really. Uh, right up there. Through these trees. We've come through from the bottom of there. It was muddy as hell, really boggy. Feeling it? Uh huh. Island. We'll push on. Aye, ah, the heat's not hot Woo! Aye. Goes on the left, the other side of that, round it, and then up again. That's hard work. The heat in the big bag isn't helping. Just stopping, stopping for a little break because that was that was tough. That like the contour lines on the map are so close together down there, and it's just scrambly, loose rock. And then you come to a boulder field, now we're on a bit of a grassy bit, so I think we've done the worst bit. There's a gate up there, we'll go through the gate and then up. But we're just sitting here having a break, we've got these towels, right? Euro hike, microfiber towel. Soak them in the river before we come up. And... Oh. Man, that's refreshing. Nice, aren't they? Lovely. And the, the wind's making them cold as well. So that's a good idea. That's a top tip for you. Dip it in the river. Just soak it up with your water supply, even. And just keep it wet and keep you... Keeps the sweat out of your eyes. And it's enough cooling you down. You wrap it around your neck. <sighs> Lovely, that. Looking at these views over there. I've only seen two people coming down. So we've just come through the gate of destiny. Came from down there, like coming down, coming down there tomorrow. It's all right until you get to that where that crag is, and then it just goes doof down there. It's all loose rock and scrambly, hard like. Just having five minutes, we're gonna go this path here I think we'll go um, I'm not sure if we'll go over them crags or round them we'll find out like and then there's a little bit further on after that I mean this is not the top this is a false summit this there's a bloody great big massive rock thing there look at that god 
Right, we're going to push on. We'll get there, we'll get there. Uh, look at this place. We've walked so many steep paths. This is called, uh, what the hell? Seathwaite, Seathwaite Tarn slash Reservoir. Heart of Fell Summit. We're just going to scramble our way up. We've dropped the bags off down there because we don't think there's going to be a pitch up here. But if there is, I'm going to have to go back and shuttle the bags backwards and forwards. I'll just go back for them you now. I'll get them. It's not far. But we're going to find my way to the top here. Come this far, we've got to go to the top. Take off another Wainwright. Wainwright number 95 for me, like. It's like a pretty, it's like the moon. Not that I've been on the moon, like. But look, we've eventually got here. Yes. Ugh. Well, that was a hard, hard, hard walk, that. 1.45 miles of pure hell, <laughs> really. Ah, oh. mint, heart of fell. We're in right 95. Reach. Just gotta find somewhere flat to put the tent now. Maybe too rocky. We're looking over there. One hour forty-five. It's hard in the heat. Just come down from the summit. It was like up there and then a little bit further on as a trig point. I've seen it. But look at these views. It's mad. What a brutal climb coming up mine. It's really, really steep. Neither of us set up there. We've got this flattest this is the flattest bit we could find. There's a place on the summit for a really small tent. There's any amount of bivvy spots among them rocks. Bivvy tops, like one man setups, two man setups though. You'd be pushed. Obviously two bivvies, but not a two man tent. So we were walking all the way around here. I've been up there, all amongst them crags. We came down here and then I come up here and found this bit. And this is like spot on. It's another blue and flat. I mean, look how well that tent's gone up. That's a sign that it's flat when it goes up well like that. Whew. So, over there is Morecambe Bay. Um, it's not clear enough to see Blackpool. But you would if it was clear. You'd see Blackpool from here. I don't know what these fells are. One of these has got to be Cor Fell. Not Cor Fell, but Cor. It's got to be one of them. That one looks pretty familiar. I don't know. I have to check my map. Lovely waterfall coming down from that tarn, which I've forgotten the name of again. But yeah, we're just going to get everything set up and then get the tea on. We've got like a, a cooking area, sheltered cooking area behind the rocks just to keep out the wind. Be good. Nice. I think get a beer on. All oh, right, we're just taking five minutes here. Come on, look at the beers. These are the beers I carried up. May the Bock be with you. Stiggy Pop. Ultra Phase. Juice Forsyth. $10 shake. Eternal Sunshine. Eating Mess. You might remember these from last week. A nice passion fruit martini cocktail. We're going to share that like. The Southern Comfort Lemonade. Nice. I'm in the month of winter, man. I've got a new uh, sleeping bag, a summer bag. I was after a summer bag and this was recommended. Yes, it's a wrap bag, like. Solar Eco 2. The 2, because I'm I'm a um, warm sleeper, me. Leon's got the 3. The red one. Because she's a cold sleeper. Nice. So the two and the three, the difference is one. 
in a um, spinal tap fashion. But it's good, it packs tiny. It's synthetic like, but you know, I was in it last night, it was all right. A little bit chilly last night, but it wasn't freezing. Um, and I didn't have, didn't really have any clothes on. You're only meant to do that with down bags, you know. You should have some layers on when you're in a synthetic bag. Right. So we've, got that. we've got burgers for tea, we'll get them on shortly. Keep it simple with the burgers, I can cook them over there. And that's about it. How was it, uh, how was it going? Great. How was the walk up? Shite. You can't swear on me videos, man. Oh my god. Oh, it was hard. Cutting that out. Hard. Mm -hmm. Did you cry? Yeah. <laughs> At one point I did cry. <laughs> I'm not saying it was steep and rough, but man, it was bad. It was wild. So if you come up, be prepared, be prepared for a steep, loose, gravelly, steppy. What am I even trying to say? Any idea? Let's get the beer on. Well, here we go again. We're off cooking burgers again because now I'll tell you why. They're easy, right? And they really fill you up. The bread buns. The bread rotten cheese, which is not looking good, like, don't know if that's going on. But we did um, borrow some original barbecue, some mayo, brown sauce, if that's your thing. Barbecue again. So, yeah, we're doing burgers. We're doing burgers. With this backdrop. Sunshine's gone. Cloud came. We knew the cloud was coming. There was a little spot of rain before, but didn't uh, didn't really bother. Her. Tides right out over there. We're just chilling out. Chilling out. We're living we're living life. Oh, just outside of the tent, we'll have the magic carpet. Didn't fly. It's not magic. So. Man, the pyramid. I'm on my third beer. Third beer is. Oh, God, my knees. Crack my knees. My knee, Stiggy Pop. 7.3%. Um, the only other high percentage one is Ultra Face, which is 8.5. Double. $10 shake is only. Um, where is it? 6.5. The bock is 7.3. That's it. The wind's gone though, so we're expecting midges. Shut the, the mesh on the door. Listen how still it is. There's still no midges though. Not a lot, is What's it? happened to the midges this year? Have they took a, a year off? I know why there's no midges. Why? Covid. Oh, they've all got Covid and stayed in. Right. They're all, no, they don't want to get Covid. Do you not think they're just staying at home? I think they are staying at home. They're all isolating. The main man, Boris Midgey, mm -hmm. said stop at home. And don't eat them pesky humans. I bet he comes out and has a party though. Ah, he will. He'll have a midgy party. And then he'll resign. <laughs> and we'll get an even worse midgy in his place. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> I'm just going to have me bock. Bock! I'm just talking rubbish now, like. <laughs> right, well, we're tidied up. We're all a mess. We are messy, like. Like Lionel. It's all in that bag there. Leanne's took a funny turn. She says she doesn't feel well. I feel fine. Oh, it's me that took the funny turn, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's them burgers, I don't think. I don't think they agree with us. 
just to do it. <laughs> now see, it's a joke, isn't it? I've eaten something. Ah, oh, it doesn't agree with us. No, you haven't. He's from your stomach. Anyway, um, it's still a nice night. We just came and went. Um, there's a lost jeep over there. It's been a right racket. I think it's found itself. No sort of time lapses or night lapses because there's a forecast of rain, so I don't want to leave the camera out. Because when you do night lapses, you've got to leave the door open for the battery, and it's not waterproof when you do that. And there's a 56% chance of rain at 4 a.m., so I'm not doing that. We've put the bags under the magic carpet. Like so. And they should be all right. So yeah, just gonna get in and get settled. So look at this. I think we might do a uh, camp over there on the other side, just looking at the route up. Morning, campers and sheep. I think we're on the, um, the little walk through here. It's not a path, it looks like a sheep trod and they look, they've been given with filthy looks all night. <laughs> Bless them. Ah, oh, it's a lovely day. It absolutely lashed it down through the night. But like all DD tops and products, it just shed it. They know how to um, waterproof stuff DD like. They really do. No, I'm not getting sponsored by them to say that. I've just had a I've had a tarp for like six years. It's never ever let water in. This tent's the same. So I can see I'm rough. That's a badger's badger. And there's Leanne. Sleep well? Mm -hmm. Did you though? I did? Yeah. Really well? Good. Good news. So we're getting packed up. Slow pack, we don't rush. Yeah. The coffee's made. The water's boiled. And somebody forgot the tea. And she doesn't like coffee. Can of lemonade for breakfast. Uh, so she's having a can of lemonade for breakfast. There's always a way around things. Look, there's a hiker over there. Morning, that's you, morning. So you were off the path, he doesn't even know we're here. Last night, I dreamt of San Pedro. No, that's another song. Last night, I felt a bit rotten. So we didn't drink the beer. And I had uh, three cans, two and a half, because I threw half a can away. I had them two good big burgers, and I think overdid it like, stuffed. I made a pig of myself, and I felt rotten, I felt awful. So I went to bed at half nine. But we've woke up very refreshed, haven't we? Mm -hmm. For a long drive. For a long drive home, right? it's a bloody long way. It's three hours from here. That's why I don't come over here. I found out that that is uh, that one there is core. Me, Rob, and Stoker camped on that last year, and we're going to go back. We'll go back down this road here, that out that way, and then round and find the M6. And simply because it's a nice drive. And I just can't be bothered to go back along the rhinos because it'll probably be really busy. So it's going to be a three hour drive, but that's all right, we'll break it up. Um, and that's about it, really. So if it happens, remember what I said that last time, and then what happened? I fell in a bog. <laughs> we've, got to take, we've got to go down the descent of terror, so something might happen. It's horrible, we're not looking forward to going down that. Right, get this coffee drunk, get packed. So there we are. We had the tent there and the carpet there. All worked out well. The tent's gone away dry. This the really the weather's picked up. So that's the top of Heart of Fell. There's nowhere to pitch unless you're on your own or in a bivy bag. Um we didn't explore the other side of it like so there might be places there. But that's it, look, we're all ready to go. Ready? Ready. Ready?
for action we're going that way and then down the descent of death oh, yeah the descent of death right well did you enjoy that descent of terror was a descent of terror that one I'm not even exaggerating here like so you go up here come up this track from the car park you see that sign which we missed yesterday and we ended up up there right up there but we came back after looking at the map you go through the trees and you go up them crags right in front of you there like that path takes you all the way past that one and then to the next one there it's on the left of it oh my god it's so steep coming down there on my asses really so be prepared for a scramble oh, also it's boggy in them trees they're all really boggy they've put logs in the bog but it doesn't really help I need to go and put a log in the bog can't believe I said that nice. so a good camp spoiled by me overeating <laughs> like some giant beef burger pig <laughs> I'm not having them again but uh, nice eye nice weather apart from the rain overnight but it didn't really bother me flat out asleep but what a place I'm sure mountaineers come and practice here up there I'm sure that's what Rob was saying so we'll probably see you next week don't know what we're doing next week Tom might be back who knows we don't we just make it up as we go along right idea ever this towel greatest idea ever yeah. get the old trotters as well <laughs> <laughs> 